pound for pound, this is the one I am most interested in to drive today. It is the Porsche Panamera. And it's the 4S version. My preconceptions about this car, well, you can't really help forming an opinion from the moment you set eyes on it. And I personally haven't formed a particularly cheerful opinion of this thing, only having looked at it. I happen to think it looks like a barge. But this is the bit where we find out what it's actually like to drive. And I'm intrigued because Porsche do not make lemons. It does feel quite big and it does feel quite heavy. It's quite a lot of movement. But typical Porsche, it is actually quite well controlled movement. I mean, this car weighs, I think it actually weighs more than two tonnes. That's enormous. It's like driving a Range Rover around a circuit. And this does feel a little bit more sorted than a Range Rover, I have to admit that. I mean, it's quick as well. I do not like this PDK gearbox though. Well, I don't like the way you work it. These flipping panels are just horrible. The gearbox itself works very well. But the way in which you make it work with these things, forget it. Wow, it's pretty smooth actually. Beautiful response from the brake pedal. I don't know how they do it, but Porsche always seem to get that more right than anyone else. Brakes. There's Porsche, and then there's the rest when it comes to brakes. It's just kind of effortless. The more time you spend in this car, the more impressive it seems, actually. It's not even quietly impressive, it's just very impressive. It's fast, it's well sorted, it's comfortable, it's quiet, it's refined. I even quite like the, uh, the cabin architecture as well. What's wrong with it then? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. When you climb outside and then have a look at it, that's when you realise what the faults are, or what the fault is. It is still ugly. <laughs> <laughs> 